This is Eugene Panukovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Sony Vio VPCEG laptop computer. VPCEG, G as in Gary, laptop computer that has a broken screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen. Uh, before we start, uh, Sony has the most confusing part number convention of all the laptop makers. So let's make sure we're talking about the same thing. On the box or even on their website, this will be called the E-Series laptop. But the E-Series has five or six different laptops with five or six or maybe three or four different screens in them. And so the best way to tell what the laptop model number is, is to look in the lower right hand corner of the screen. I don't know if we can get a good close up or not. And look at the first five letters. So it should be VPCEG. Now with some of them there's going to be some numbers and letters after the first five letters, but they don't matter as much. So look for VPCEG on the lower right hand corner of the screen assembly. All right, before we go any further, this is especially important with Sony laptop computers, is to remove the battery. So you unlock this lever down here on the left and slide the lever on the right down where my right hand finger is and tilt the battery up and remove it. Now I guarantee you, if you do not remove the battery when you do the repair, you will fry your laptop and the screen will no longer work. So please remove the battery. All right, so next let's take a look at the tools that we're going to use. We're going to use a electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. That's the main one. PH stands for Phelps. 1 stands for the size and a PH0 bit. 0 is a bit that's a little bit smaller. We may or may not need this one. We also need a X-Acto knife with a pointed blade and a pair of metal tweezers. So let's get started. In order to get to the screen, we need to remove this screen bezel around the screen. In order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove four screws on the screen bezel and they're hiding behind some rubber covers. So we're going to use our X-Acto knife to lift up the rubber covers. What I like to do is put them next to the screws on the bezel so we don't lose them. These are mostly for aesthetic purposes. So we take off the bottom one too. Put it next to there, and the fourth one. Once we do that, we're going to start with a PH1 bit and see if we can get a hold of the screws with PH1 bit. And it does okay. So we remove four screws. Two. Okay, the screws at the bottom, they're a little bit hard to get to. So what I like to do is tilt the laptop back and do it and engage the screws at an angle. You might have to use a little bit of force to get the screws going, but after you get them going, it should be okay. So it's not as bad as the HP laptops. So, but... It's a little bit more difficult than usual. So we do the same thing here. Use a little bit of force to get it started. And then once we get started, we can take it out. Okay, and it's out. All right, next comes perhaps what the hardest part of this procedure is is to remove 
the screen bezel. The screen bezel snaps into place and you gotta snap it off. So when you start hearing snapping sounds, that's good. What I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for the snapping sounds. Also, it helps if you kind of pull on the screen bezel out away from the screen assembly that loosens up the mounts. Okay, so we hear the snaps like this. And we pull like this. We pull and lift and go around. And if some places are not giving, you just keep going around and find places that do give, and eventually you get it all. So come back here and I gave. And then we do the same thing on the bottom. Hear the snapping sounds, like so. And then kind of tilt the bezel forward and this, these hinge covers will come out also. So we put the screen bezel to the side. Okay, next what we have is the screen assembly. For this laptop, it's a 14-inch LED screen. Now, for other Sony laptops, notably the VPC-EA laptop, it's going to have a different type of screen with the mounts on the side, but for this VPC-EG screen, we have a screen that's not slim. It's a regular thickness screen, which is good news. It's not as breakable. And the screws, it's mounted on the screws onto metal mounting brackets on the side, like, like here. So we got to get to those screws. And right now we can see that it's still a bit hard to get to, although not impossible. And what I like to do is tilt the screen forward a little bit. And also another trick is to loosen up the screws down here. There's two screws that we can loosen up like so. And now allows to tilt the screen assembly, the screen forward a little bit from the screen assembly so we can get to the mounting screws on the side. So we can tilt it forward. We don't need to tilt it forward too much, just enough to get to the screws on the side. Once we do that, we can engage the screws on the side and make sure the whole screen assembly is tilted back when you do this so the screen doesn't fall forward on you. Like so, one, and two, and we remove the two screws from the other side also, one, and two. Okay, now that the screen is free from the metal mounting brackets of the screen symbol, we tilt it forward, make sure nothing is stopping us, and pull it, put it forward like this. Okay, next there's one connector that we need to remove. In order to remove this connector, we lift up the tape that's holding the connector down. Use our fingernails. If that doesn't work, you can also use the exacto knife. We mixed up a really strong batch of adhesive this time, so it's a little bit harder. Okay, well, it's really hard, but we can do it. And so we lift up this adhesive tape. And make sure there's no adhesive on the back of the video cable and then we just slide the connector out. Before we go any further, I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to reconnect it. When you have a new screen, when you reconnect it, this is the biggest source of error I see that people don't connect it properly and the screen doesn't work. So what you want to do is slide it in until you, fear, you hear clicks on either side. That means the connector is engaged. And let's have a close-up look at what it's supposed to look like when it's properly connected. If the camera will cooperate with me in focus. 
go. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Pause your uh, video right here and make sure your connection looks like this. There's no seam between the two sides of the connection. That's a proper connection. All right, so let's keep moving and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 14 inch LED screen, which is the standard thickness, not the slim one that goes into the very similar model that's called VPCEA. So that's the biggest difference, in, which I'm a little bit surprised by, but that's what it is. And that's why we're here. Okay, the connector is on the bottom left. And let's take a look at the part number. It's LTN 140AT. Two zero LTN one four zero AT two zero. Now, when you order a replacement screen for this laptop, most likely you will not get this exact part number, but a screen with a different part number that uh, looks looks exactly the same and has the connector in the same place. Now, uh, we at Screen Surgeons also sell a screen for this laptop computer with a VPCEG. And what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee that we guarantee that the screen will ship will be compatible. And we also provide free email technical support when you do the installation. So to order from us, go to screensurgeons.com, click on buy a screen at the bottom, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out. And once you do that, we'll send you back the link to the right screen. Okay, so once you get your screen in, connect the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen on the metal mounting brackets and put the two screws on. Remember to tighten these hinge screws down here. Then to put the two screws up on here. And then snap the bezel on and then put the four screws back on on top of the bezel and put the rubber covers on and you should be done and this laptop should be ready. Okay, uh, good luck. My name is Eugene Panrickovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you.